and the troll just finds that steady farmly. Now, it will be hard to kill off 4F. It's still a DK, level 2 Dragon's Bloods out, but up top. Yeah, I mean, who cares about Forever when you can get 23 Savage, and that's exactly what Old 11 just got. And it's, it's a bit of a slower start for the Void Spirit, which is not necessarily what you want. Once Carl hits level 6 or level 7 with the threat of the Exorcist, and you will have to watch for that early push that can come out for T1. Swell, PYW, you're gonna chase down Whitemon. Double stun off, but now Zeph is gonna show up. PYW slowed up by the disarm, but the swashbuckle does not connect. PYW will eventually die to Savage anyway. But one swashbuckle won't be enough damage. Unless Whitemon gets in with a Thunder Strike, in which case it would be. In fact, never mind. They get the stun off, but the swash misses. It may not matter though. Old 11 still gonna die. But your troll is still having basically a free lane, which is always good news despite the sports speeding. Oh, Forev, he's in trouble. Inkswell there is going to connect the Y with the follow-up, and there's Poyoyo to make sure they get the kill. The troll will take it. We have to yet to see them play around with these early push spells. We haven't seen the dragon form come for a push, although Ori. They have found Zephyr. Zephyr looks like he's accepted the fact that he might just be dead. It's up to the high ground though, but Ori knows exactly where he is. So at least Carl will be able to get a trade for himself on the DP, taking down PYW. So all things being said and done, not too bad for either team. It's uh, not the worst loss for either side. Much more important for Ori to find that kill, as again, he's been struggling a bit on this Void Spirit. Carl though, with, hit, with that kill, does get to, up to level 8. Oh? Blood right out, Rupture committed onto Savage, stroke of fate there from PYW. Now the Inkswell on a creep, Savage just kind of standing his ground, is going to lose his first line. And now they have Poyo here, this is what they were waiting for. Glimpse back on the troll, might just be enough, but 23 Savage, he was ensnared for a second. He tried to TP, but the Aether Remnant Why? catches him out. You just don't necessarily keep up and farm despite the jungle clearing. You do find a top tier one, the bot tier one was under pressure from 4ev. Old 11 will try to hold out. Old 11 might be in trouble, Carl. He's just gonna pop the ulti, chasing him down with the exorcism. Forev should be able to get the stun off, but can't quite get in range yet. Still, they have the damage just with the DP ulti alone. They will eventually take the kill. In fact, Forev is the one to get the kill on the, uh, on the DK. Because he is the main character after all, John. <laughs> Doesn't matter how much, how much work Carl did, Forev deserves it. Yeah. Meanwhile, PYW. Inkswell gonna turn right back around onto Savage. Don't forget that reincarnation is not up right now for Savage, so he does need to be somewhat cautious. But Ori, he doesn't care about caution. He's moving right in and they get another kill. This time D1 the one to take it. Onto Whitemon. Whitemon's gonna try and run away with the kinetic field, but it is not gonna help. They need to come in for the defense as well. Forever ruptured up. Waiting for it to expire. Carl gonna show up, but no exorcism is gonna make it very hard to fight. They'll go on to DY. Inkswell onto the siege creep is not gonna stop Carl from chasing down DY. ASAP. So they can keep the pace up compared to the push T1 has, and they don't have to wait for cooldowns. Brev. Brev's in with the stun, and onto Ori, but he's kind of alone right now. Oh. EP's in, but Carl, he's in danger. The battle trap's immediately being popped. We'll just burst him down and Zephyr will go down along with Carl and now pour off forever. He'll blink to the left and get away. And of course he does have his Midas up on the Raid King now so you can try to save up for the Radiance although... Why? He's gonna go for a TP out. White Mon, he's gonna be there with the glimpse. Does die eventually to the Thunder Strike of White Mon. And they are forcing VG to kill off Butter here instead of Savage now. Carl. Yules up, has caught Ori, Morev is there with the Dragon Tail, they've got the Sans, they've got the Static Storm, they just pop everything. But there is straight in onto the Disruptor, they'll avoid White One for now, instead spawning out Zephyr, but no, they'll go back onto White One because he's the much easier kill. <laughs> and just hit some major power spikes once those items are up, so I think this is a bit better for VG, and they find a freebie. Yeah, White Mon, he, he's oh. not a freebie yet. He is not going to make it out, though. Nice attempt. Now, Carl moved in, however. Eclipse going to be committed by DY. Not going to be enough to lock Carl down. PYW, looks like he's trying to have a gander to see where Zephyr is. 
Mid lane for you, by himself, Battle Transport with the BKB, he has for him, and he gets the kill onto Savage now, right. he's 1v4ing them at the moment. They'll come in, the rest of the team, BG Gaming, jump onto Carl immediately and get the DP kill. And now Ori wants another, straight onto 23 Savage. He hasn't got that reincarnation life any longer, and Poyo's coming in. He really wants the pause one kill and he'll get it. There's just a lot of damage coming through now from VG when they throw the bodies out. They're coming in for the defense bot though. In onto Fareb, they want the DK dead, Spirit Vessel out from DY. They're actually not going to chase him down yet, but here comes old 11 from the outpost, right back into the DK. That'll be forever gone. <laughs> Move in with a the smoke. They're going to try and defend this tier 2 tower. Dragon Tail is out onto the Lunar. Still alive though. DY going to try and back out, but Static Storm is going to be dropped. Still Poirier moves in and gets one. Forever's gone. Onto Carl. They'd love a DP kill. Oh, no. That's a great soul bind to lock them down, but they've run out of the BKB now on the troll. So T1, they can turn back around and try to engage themselves. Back onto old 11. They'll get the Bloodseeker. Look at Poirier. He's waiting on the sideline to go after 23 Savage. That's the one they want. He has reincarnation, but he's going to lose the first life. He needs some help. Savage will throw out the stun, and that'll be enough. Meanwhile, Carl has been cleaning up the back lines. Poyo gonna go after him. Meanwhile, Ori fighting the beast himself. Is it gonna be enough? Without Poyo, who's currently occupied with Carl, Ori is still fighting back. He's almost dead, and he still has the Aegis, but he's actually putting up a bit, pretty big fight. And now Savage, but how do you get out of this one? Forev, he'll jump back in. They got the Aegis on Ori at least. And Poyo now doesn't have a secondary life, so he's gonna tie. They've got the Pango, Zephyr. Looking to go back in on the Void Spirit. But I believe that might be enough. For Rev, another stun out, has caught the Luna. DY. Well, Ori right back in, not willing to let his support die. Does take down Y1 now, the Eclipse is out. They want to try and turn. Savage has lost his life, and now for Rev, he's gonna die to boot. It looked great for a second there for T1, but... Old Boys 11. with the voice lines, old 11 surrounded, he's gonna get jumped on forever with the stun out and the static storm to boot. Old 11, he pops his BKB and rupture, can he really do this by himself? No, definitely not. And that dark portrait, it really hurts a lot. DK, Wraith King, either one, why not both even? Look at this. There it is. There's your dark portrait. It's Jesus. killing 23 Savage just on its own, and it does. The dark portrait getting the kill, and they go in again. 23 Savage, he can't survive the damage. P1W gets credit for the kill. Now for Rev is also going to go down. The dark portrait, pretty darn good, apparently. Especially up against Wraith King. Oh yeah, very busted. And you have the perfect neutral item here for PYW as well. Aether Lens and a Psychic Headband. You can reach her a mile away. Got another. They got Zephyr. Zephyr just blown up immediately. Savage. Smoke broken. He's just gonna run in. Rev. Actually get the courier of DY. He missed uphill. If I uh, saw that correctly. Yeah, it's a... yep, it happens. Nothing's gonna come out of this so far. The smoke's just. I mean, they're trying to find each other. Vici though, they've got the high ground now. So they're in a, they're in a really nice position. Ori, he's gonna bait for his team. He's jumping right in after Ferrer, forcing the BKB usage. Now back onto Carl. Carl has got the silence out. Ben Rupture is there onto the DP. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, Old Eleven is still going with the Soulbind out from PYW. They get 23 Savage once. Now the Static Storm dropped on the Grimstroke with the Lunar Eclipse coming out. 23 just melts. He just melts. Jeez. There goes Forever on the DK. A triple kill out for Old 11. The Dark Portrait, it's still haunting them. It's still trying to chase them down. Carl's been left behind, of course. Or he's been fighting with him this whole time. He'll try. With the Spirit Siphons and the BKB, he'll try to fight back. 
But I think his only opportunity here is to just run, but there's another Dark Portrait <laughs> with the Inks one out. On to Carl and PYW, he'll take Seems the kill. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. The tier 3 top bottom tower, they go now. Natural step in, they found the Pango Zephyr, he just melts. Moving in onto Perem, they drop the Static Storm and Kinetic Field, but they can't capitalize. No, they need everyone up, and even if Carl shows up here, he doesn't have Exorcism. So they're just kind of stuck. They're going to get Mega Creeps, and VG might look to close the game out. They just call, they call it. That's enough. They are way too far behind. 28k net worth, in fact. They've had enough. Savage, he's going to try, but... I reckon you could have put the Ink Portrait up against the Wraith King by itself, and... No. It's a lot of damage coming out from DY. You saw how low 4 of drops. He's going to have to try and recover in this lane. And they might be able to get some harassment onto DY, but he's actually fairly tanky here. That he is. Or is he? DY dropping low. Very fire out. More clicks coming out. And Ferev does end up getting the kill he wanted. Gives us a chance to look at the mid lane. You do have Ori on the puck up against Carl on the DK anime protagonist. And so far holding steady for both sides, although... Top lane, Boyo, meta up, trying to fight with Forever, but the lucky shot gonna be quite disruptive. And now the hex is out, they've got the terrible, or maybe not the stick charges enough to survive. But now the earth spikes there, lucky shot from Forever, not gonna come in, but he's still gonna get the kill. And Zephyr is still gonna run his way out. So T1 securing themselves a really good ramp up here in the laning phase. Three to one, they've got the dragon form and Carl and Zephyr's here for a rotation. Very nice rotation out with the Earth Spike, and now the follow-up stun from Carl. Carl, he can start pressuring this mid T1 tower very easily. Not going to be much in the way that PYW can stop this. In fact, he does cop a stun. Earth Spike count. Why not even showing up now on the Abaddon? Zephyr is going to tie. PYW will go down to boot, however. We want to do it. Carl, speaking of, is going after Ori now with his Dragon Form again. Ori forced the Dream Core just to get out. And all the way, Old Eleven gonna show up with PYW and Poyo. Everyone's here from Vici Gaming. Dyer's top tower. Like they find a really big kill for themselves, stall out Radiant's to push up top. They've got level 7 and Old Eleven. Three down, hatching out the Lion Zephyr, gonna get blown up by PYW and his Lucent Beam. Brev now just gonna be forced to roll away. They are, they wanna try and take some off T1 are going to be located. Nice spear away onto Zephyr. Still forever. He's going to be able to get in and get the bounty. But now the Dream Core is out from Ori into the Eclipse. A great combination. The Ancients, they're going to take a bit of the damage. But they do lose Zephyr. It'll be one down. In fact, make it a second. White one also to fall. Carl wants to try and trade, but the Nightmare is out from DY. Radiance bottom tower. Oh, mid lane. Oh, they've caught Savage. They've got the oh, Medusa. No. That was a Fiend's Rift committed there by DY and old 11. Now they'll look to set up into that mid T1 tower. However, there's a bit of a wraparound. They found the Terra Blade. Both supports. Zephyr has the finger and will be able to commit it for the kill. They do get the Nightmare off on the Lion, but it's well and truly worth it. Zephyr, he'll happily die for that. And for Rev, he's gonna go down to PYW. You can't just spear the DK away <laughs> like that. DY, he has the Fiend's Grip. He'll go for a Nightmare, it's gonna be purged up by the Aphotic Shield. Old Eleven now gonna show up. Dream Coil, it does land onto three. For Rev, speed up in an arena. They'll move in. PYW has been hexed immediately, but it won't matter. They still kill For Rev, and now they'll get Zephyr. And they're in perfect position. Yeah. So, PYW, actually not going for the Agony Spill, by the way, John. Yeah. Oh, Dream Coil. Coil, mid lane, Zephyr, the one court, spear out, breaks the coil, and Ori. We'll get credit and kill. Oh? Why? 
Might get in range for that Fiend's Grip. He gets the Nightmare off, and that's going to be the easiest Fiend's Grip of his life. If he wants to commit it, and he will, the Yule's out onto the Dusa. The Eclipse as well. Everything just being dropped. 23 Savage, though, with the Stone Gate. He's going to try and fight back up against PYW. But here comes Ori to jump in on the puck. He'll off away. DY, he's been left behind. Meanwhile, Ferev is just trying to get the Bane kill and at least get one. He's still widening the lead for VG, 4k up. He's getting a lot of free farm out for Poyoyo. And they find even more. Not even allowing Ferev to get the Maelstrom up. They know he's in the tree line somewhere. He's going to try and roll away, but they have the Fiend's Grip and DY. is going to be able to catch him out. And look at the damage out from Poyoyo. It's a Terror Blade after all. Even with just an SNY, it's going to prove to be enough. Radiance bottom tower. Zephanel. On the line. Carl. What's being caught? Not Arena Spear gonna be there. Old 11 holding down the DK. They might just have enough damage. Wymon was not able to get in range to give him the Aphotic Shield. They even take the courier away. Ori mid lane. Zephyr gonna show his face. Ori might just blow him. Yeah, he does. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Yeah, dude, right? Like, you, you might reduce some of the HP you get from the Sunder. Oh, mid lane. But you don't really want to lose your DK like this. They're just going to be able to chip away. They don't fully commit, but they TP up top looking for a kill. Well Savage? committed. Savage has no way out. Stonegate's at least buying him a bit of time, but DY, he has the Fiend's Grip. White wants a round just in case he needs the Aphotic Shield, which he probably will. Savage has the Ive Scardi up now. Old 11. He's going to try and fight. Arena down with the spear out. Eclipse just ripping through the Abaddon. He'll survive, but Poyo now moving in from the sideline. And 23, he's gone. Fiend's Grip is there onto Ferem. And one by one, T1 is falling. 23 Savage, he can't afford to be picked off here. He really can't. Ori, he just blows up Zephyr in the tree line, and now they're going to find the Medusa. Arena down into the Eclipse. They don't even have the puck around yet. Poyo not even getting started because of the Stone Gaze, but now that it's over, they will surround the beast and slay her. Ori getting a double kill now on the puck. Right to the outpost as well. They want more. DY. Looking for a Fiend's Grip, is going to spot out Carl. He's in the Nightmare, there's no way out, no help around him. And he is more than likely just dead. White wants trying to come in, but he realizes there's just no helping his DK. Uh, Carl needed to commit Dragon Form with a Dragon Hill stun blinking. Although they might go for Oldie Lovin' here. They're going to try, he's a tanky boy however. TP's coming in now. You've got Ori who's happy to fight. Dream Coil's going to be committed. They want Carl dead. He has more help coming in in the form of Zephyr. But Beachy Gaming have made their way over as well. DY again, the Fiend's creep up. He's not going to commit this time. Still Ori moving in forward, getting vision for his team. They might just kill Zephyr. Arena down. Wymon can't really run out of there. Savage, however, Stonegate's moving forward, trying to get somebody to turn into stone and they got old 11 there for a second he's trying to run a sunder out but the ages he's gonna go down as the finger was committed by zephyr still carl now the bkb is gonna try and fight but poyo has popped the mana savage is completely surrounded on the medusa he's gonna die they're committing buybacks but this terror blade is just so darn strong They know T1 doesn't have as much left in the tank to force these fights out. And they can easily just melt these objectives. Dream call in, Ori. He has a back off cooldown and he caught three of them. Spear out for Rev. Immediately blown up. Carl, he's going to try to at least get somewhat of a trade. DY's still not dead, however. He'll turn right back around. Savage moving forward, but he's been disarmed up. Old 11 blocking all the attacks. They're still trying to kill DY. He just won't go down, however. He just doesn't die. But now they have a better target. Uh, the side of VG just really looking strong so far. And T1, I mean, look at Carl. He's just caught out again. Yeah. He's really not that tanky either. And Ori is just completely dominating him on this park. And look at top lane, Savage. He's gonna show up, but DY was waiting. 
immediately in with the Nightmare, or he's going to check the backlines to make sure no help's coming in. Whitemon rushes over to try and make sure he's alright. They've got Puck. Diori, hexed up, finger out as well. Maybe they kill him, but no, the face shift is there in time, but he does not get away. They will stone gaze just in case. On to DY they go. The Shadow Amulet keeping him safe, but not for long. They finally get something. Like PYW shows his face and forever immediately wants to go for the kill. Eclipse was committed, but it's not really doing too much. Now forever is a bit of a sitting duck, and Poyo. Well, he gets another double. BKB, yep. old 11. And hope it pays off. They are holding on to their high ground quite nicely. Uh, Rax mid still stands, although. Ori, right in onto the Pango. Solid stop. Dream Coil committed. He didn't really get Forever there, but they got the Abaddon. And they want White Mon dead. The Fiend's Grip will hold down Forever instead to make sure he dies. And White Mon, he's obviously gone. We go meta popped. Rain Drax not gonna last at all. Spear back, very nice from old 11 Savage. Forced to pop the Stone Gaze immediately, but look at how much mana he's lost. And he is still leashed to that Dream Coil. Carl now jumping in with a stun onto old 11. Beans grip out for Rev. That's a great arena out. The Mars holding down Savage underneath the tier 4 towers. It just doesn't matter. He's gonna die. He has no buyback either. And this game is looking very, very over. As VG are onto the T4 towers now. No glyph, but the GG's call T1. They don't feel confident in being able to make a comeback. VG Gaming, it's been a great day for this side. Oh yeah, winning out their boats, boat series. They play amazingly well in boat series as well. T1.